Just last Friday, the Order. next round of the housing support program closed for applications. $450 million available to local, state and territory governments for that enabling infrastructure. We'll fund new investment to build the roads, connect the power, water and sewerage to support residential construction. The member for Hunter. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development and Local Government. How is the Albanese Labor Government's housing support program helping to make housing more affordable by getting more homes built more quickly in the right places? Call to the Minister for Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development and Local Government. Can I thank uh, the member for Hunter very much for that question. Another great regional member over on this side of the House. We, of course, understand that people are under pressure and that some people are doing it tough. Our number one priority that is exercising us every day is delivering cost of living relief through tax cuts, energy bill relief and pay rises. And we know that one of the keys to addressing the cost of living is bringing down the cost of owning or renting a home, and that means building more houses and increasing supply. When I meet with councils and communities around the country, and I acknowledge the South East Queensland councils that I met with uh, earlier today, when I meet with them around the country, one of the things that they tell me is a big barrier to getting more houses built is like getting local planning right and constructing the infrastructure needed to support new homes. It's why we have put $1.5 billion on the table to unlock the housing supply pipeline over the next two years. The Prime Minister recently announced $50 million to help local and state governments get local planning right, funding projects like a new strategy for Blacktown City Council to build more well-located housing around train stations, planning to build more homes around Bundaberg Hospital to ensure healthcare workers have affordable places to live close Order, to the where they Paul work. Hinkler. Funding to bring back a planning degree in South Australia to ensure that we actually have the workforce to actually give planning approvals. Investing in the planning and servicing works needed to bring more housing online in six wheat belt areas across Western Australia. And I know that bringing on new housing means getting the local planning right up front. That's because we know that good planning matters, from planning new homes and, of course, planning to submit your local council nomination forms on time. That's right. Just last Friday, the Order. next round of the housing support program closed for applications. $450 million available to local, state and territory governments for that enabling infrastructure. We'll fund new investment to build the roads, connect the power, water and sewerage to support residential construction. We'll also provide funding for community infrastructure like the parks and public spaces to support those new homes. Because we don't want to just approve homes sitting on the books, we want sods turned on those homes right now, and that $450 million will make a significant difference. And of course, in the budget, we also provided a billion dollars across states and territories to deliver new infrastructure to support housing supply and to deliver more social housing via the priority work streams. States and territories will submit their implementation plans to me by next month. We are committed to building more homes across this country and we are committed to building the infrastructure to enable those new homes in our cities, our suburbs and our regions.